Hello, everybody. More than 50 years ago, at the request of President Eisenhower, your organizations joined together on behalf of the American Jewish community. For the half century since, American presidents, including me, have benefited from your advice and counsel. Tonight, I want to thank Robert Sugarman, Malcolm Honline, and everyone who's helped to guide the Conference of Presidents over the decades. I want to join you in saluting your past chairs, including my great friend Alan Solo. And I want to express my deep appreciation to all of you and your organizations for giving voice to the strength and diversity of the American Jewish community. I've seen it myself. I'm grateful for our work together throughout my presidency. Together, we've upheld the principle that each of us has an obligation to repair the world. We've stood up against anti-Semitism around the globe and against efforts to single out Israel at the United Nations. And we've made it clear that the commitment of the United States to the security of the state of Israel is unshakable. I was proud to welcome a number of you to the White House before my trip to Israel last year. And during my visit to Israel, the historic homeland of the Jewish people, I declared that the alliance between our two great nations is eternal. Lanetzak and will continue to stand with our Israeli friends as they walk the difficult road to peace with Palestinians. So to all of you there tonight, thank you for your leadership and your partnership. Congratulations on 50 extraordinary years, and here's to your continued success in all the years to come. Have a great evening, everybody.